To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Osman and accept the quest. Speak to Ozan just outside of the palace to your north. And you will get a cutscene. After the cutscene, inspect the head statue to receive a heavy weight. Click on the rope. Head northwest and drop off the roof. The option to drop off is a little tricky to click. Click on the rope to cross the building. Then click on the rug to parrot drop down below. Then head to Shanti Pass southeast. Speak to Shanti and go through the passage. You will now get a cutscene. Choose the fourth chat option. Now this is sort of a interactive cutscene. You can interrupt it. So be very careful not to go too far away from Ozan. If he disappears, you'll have to head back to the Alcarid Palace and head through the Shanti Pass exit once again. Once the sundial appears, rotate the symbol to the head sign, the human face. Then speak to Ozan. Ozan will now start following you. After the conversation, head southwest to the next sundial. Click on it and you will receive a cutscene. You will now be engaged in combat. They're very low level, so you have nothing to worry about. The last bandit you slay will drop a piece of the sundial. Go ahead and pick it up and use it on said sundial.
click and align the sundial to the monkey head. Speak to Ozan. Next, head northwest. And you will receive a cutscene. During the cutscene, there will be four chat options. You can click on any of them. The outcome is the same regardless. You will now find yourself in a dark cave. After the conversation, keep entering one of the four caves until Ozan mentioned sitting on something uncomfortable. I only had to do this about four times. Next, click on the sundial. Align it to Krondis, the crocodile head. Then keep heading into the direction that the sundial points to. Keep walking through the cave until you exit. Now before we proceed, go ahead and unequip any weapon that you might have and pick up the bronze scimitar right next to you. You will now have to slice open several beetles until you obtain the Karib Ib. Go ahead and keep opening a few of them until Ozan mentions something about a louder and sparkling one. You'll know which bug is the right one as there is a sparkling effect over it. You will first obtain a sapphire, emerald, and then a ruby, and then the fourth shiny one will be the gem. There is no telling how long this will take, it is pure luck, so feel free to pause the video and continue once you obtain the fourth gem. Once obtained, you will get a cutscene. Climb up the rope. And speak to Ozan or Leela.
inspect the sundial and align it to Scarabas, the scarab. After the conversation, head southwest. Speak to Lady Kelly to start a cutscene. You will be prompted with three chat options. Now go ahead and pick any of them. The outcome is the same regardless. Kelly will now send two of her minions to fight you. Now, there are some special mechanics involved, but they're very easy to kill, so there really isn't much struggle involved. Just go ahead and slay them. After the combat, speak to the prince. Speak to Osman once at the palace. And quest complete.